In this video, we will be going over how to solve multi-step fraction problems. After watching the video, you should be able to problem solve and add fraction problems to get to your answer by using your problem solving skills. In the task, you are given that Daniel runs three-fifths of a mile each day. He wants to know how many days he has to run before the total number of miles he runs is a whole number. The first thing you want to ask yourself is, what is a whole number? And whole number means there's no fraction. So whole numbers are like 1, 2, 3, 10, 12. They're whole numbers. In order to problem solve, you want to be able to figure out what tools do I need? Can I draw a picture? And yes, you can use all these tools to help you solve this problem. So to solve this problem, one tool you can use is use a number line. A number line helps you visualize your work and you can also verify your answer. So here, we know Daniel runs three-fifths of a mile each day. That means each day take three-fifths of a mile. So as you can see from the number line, each step that we take is out of five. So every step is one-fifth. Since Daniel is running three-fifths of a mile, it means take three steps. So one, two, three. So day one is in pink. So we know Daniel went three-fifths of a mile. So to go to day two now, we know we have to move three steps again. And on day two, we land on six over five. Notice that six over five is not a whole number, so we have to keep going. And we can also confirm because three fifth plus three fifth means we just add the numerator, so six over five, and we get the answer right here. So day three. That means Daniel moves another three-fifth. So we'll model that in green. So he's going to take three steps forward. That means in day three, he lands on nine-fifth. And if you want to model that with using numbers, we know that he moved three-fifth. So we add three-fifth. And six plus three is nine-fifth we see it on day three. Since nine over five is still not a whole number, we have to move forward again. So day four, Daniel will take three steps. One, two, three. We land on 12 over five. And 12, of, 12 over five is not a whole number. So we have to go to day five. And same thing, you can add three over five, nine, over 5 plus 3 over 5 is 12 over 5. So let's go to day 5. Daniel's going to take 3 steps again because it's 3 fifth. And he lands on 3. So how do we get 3? Well, we know 12 over 5 plus 3 over 5 is 15 over 5. And 15 over 5, if you simplify it, is 3. Three. How many days did it take for Daniel to run a whole number? And as you can see, on day five, he ran three miles, so he will run three miles in five days. This is your next task. Lena runs two-thirds of a mile each day. She wants to know how many days she has to run before she has run a whole number of miles. So press pause here and try the problem on your own, and then play the video once you're done. Welcome back. So let's visualize the scenario. We know that Lena runs two thirds of a mile each day. That means there's three parts in a whole. So we could create a number line where she's moving in thirds. So we'll start with zero. And we know it's one third, two thirds, then a whole because it's three thirds. And we can even write this down right here. So three over three. And we could remember that's one whole on the top. So let's try again. So we're going to go in thirds, so now we're going in order. So four thirds, five thirds, and then six thirds. And we know six over three is two. So every three we see is a whole number. So let's keep going. Seven third, eight third, and then nine third, which is three. Ten third, eleven third, twelve third, which is four. So by creating your own number line system, it can help guide you to solve this problem. So we know on day one, Lena runs two thirds of a mile. So that means we take two steps because it's two parts out of the whole. 
So day one, she'll cover two thirds of a mile. And we know two steps. One, two. So for day one, she's at two thirds. So this is the first day. Then we have to keep going because two thirds is not a whole number. So day two, she'll take another two steps. So one, two, and we're at four thirds. Since four third is not a whole number, we need to keep going. Day two, we're at four thirds. And also remember two third plus two third. If you do it mathematically, we add two plus two, which is four thirds. And we know four thirds is not a whole number. So let's keep going. Another two steps. Then we land on two. So since two is a whole number, we know day three is where we stop because we're at six over three, which is equal to two. And we can also confirm it by doing math. Four third plus two thirds is six over three, which is two. So since two is a whole number, we could stop right here. So how many days did it take for Lena to run two miles? It took her three days. And in three days, she got there in two miles. So when it comes to solving problems, using a visual model like fraction slips or even a number line in this case will help you problem solve.